actually just got back from a meeting. A couple weeks ago, I met one of our a new client at an event. She just got back from a meeting with him, which was really successful. Yeah, fun. Um, so this event that I went to was a bit dry. It was just one of our clients giving a presentation, and then I was just networking and yeah, just stumbled across him. But she needs some marketing help, which is exciting. Well, it's the start of the week, so usually because I'm in charge of digital marketing here at Iron Bar, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of scheduling for socials. So nothing too hectic today, but just going to put my emails and doing some scheduling. It's probably one of the, my least favourite tasks, but um, when we have an exciting thing to announce, it can be really exciting to share that with some of my clients' followers. Current project, well, like I said with this guy in the meeting today, I've got a good idea of what he would like, so now I have to discuss that with my boss and we'll send him out a proposal. We obviously have to give him an offer that is reasonable for him, so I guess that'll be like a proposal that I'll have to get together and then some costing will have to go into that from my boss, so um, I guess it, uh, acquiring that client is probably my task. Yeah. I secured this internship through my part-time boss. So throughout uni, I worked as a nanny and the mother of the family, she is a doctor and the dad's an engineer and they both had a marketing consultant they, that both did their company's marketing. So when I said I needed an internship, they were very quick to suggest Amelia Chalker at Iron Bark Marketing. So then I threw my resume over to her with a nice email, I followed up with a phone call, and Maria also put in a good word, the mum put in a good word for me. And then I came in for a meeting, and then yeah, got it like that. I did my internship, so it was like 100 hours um, as a marketing, media and communications intern. And then at the end of my hours, they brought me on as a casual, and then they waited for me to graduate. Which is nice, so then yeah, I got offered a permanent full time job here. It's a long one, so a Bachelor of Business with a major in Management and a Bachelor of Creative Industries majoring in Media and Communication. 100%, 100%. With my business side, definitely my management skills with you know, communication and understanding people. And with my career for industries, media, 100%. So again, professional communication with the subject, which I actually refer back to a lot now. I think that's something that I'm always going to have those really great skills that I learned in that class that I particularly remember that. In all honesty, I found it really challenging. Coming from uni, choosing your own hours, choosing your own part-time hours, I'm going into full-time work. Initially, I found it really challenging, yeah. Ooh. Um, I would network with my peers more. I think attending O Weeks and getting in charge, getting um, in one of the societies a little yeah. bit more. I kind of feel like I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, honestly, if I were to go back, I probably still wouldn't. But I wish I did. Yeah, I wish I had the confidence to just go for it. Mm. Oh, I wish um, uni was a little bit more structured. I think that would have helped my transition into full-time work a little bit more manageable. But learnt-wise, definitely like, you know, um, not seeing uni as assessment and seeing it as an opportunity to learn and um, see how oh, I could use that in this way in the future. I think it would make uni a little bit more practical, I guess. Yeah. I still love marketing. However, I would love to incorporate my management degree more into um, my work, so perhaps being a team leader is something that I'm really interested in doing. But yeah, I, obviously you're not going to attain that sort of level straight out of uni. So yeah, becoming like an account manager and managing it on my own or yeah, a small, small team leader. Yes, 100%. I, every day I'm learning something new. Um, you know, sometimes I walk out of here and I feel quite deflated about how much I feel like I don't know. But then other days I walk out and I'm like, yeah, I nailed that. So there's definitely going to be room for improvement and room for consistency. And yeah, I think even here, I guess um, the next step up is an account manager. So deciding if I want to do that and when I can and when I have the skills to do that, that'll be my next step. 
really hard to get a job. So I, my advice, network. Tell everyone that you're looking for a job. Tell your hairdresser, tell your barista, tell anyone that will listen. You'll be amazed at what people know and who people know. And it's really gonna help you. It's, like it's only gonna help you. you know, you're not gonna lose anything by just having like a 30 second elevator pitch um, and sharing that around. Use your contacts to get where you wanna go, for sure.